Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Bitcoin report for the 17th of February. We'll also look at some altcoins as well. So we'll just go through Bitcoin pretty quickly. There's no real um, sort of change at this point. Uh, we're looking from wave three here to wave four up to wave five of three and then we'll see a wave four there. There's really good support at uh, 4,000. There's oodles of uh, uh, options sitting there as well. So that's really a you know, a good floor for this market um, if it was going to pull back uh, into that. Uh, five being the strongest number after one. So one is the strongest number and then five. And eight and three will become come next as well. Um, probably eight after five and then three, but they're quite close. Uh, that's just my humble opinion through my observations. Um, so we can expect some type of correction uh, in, in this space. And uh, let's go in and have a little look. I mean, I just expect some, you know, being above the level, being below the level uh, and so on. But what I eventually want to see is we either want to see a decent sized pullback where we can build in again, or we're going to find this as support here on this level. So looking at uh, wave four down here up to uh, wave blue wave five, we're looking for five waves as one and uh, two here, and then one and two and three and four and five to here for wave three, and then wave four here, and then going up for wave five. So wave five will have five little waves there. And I just want to also point out too that um, this count that I've got here as wave four here to wave five being wave three and four here is the conservative count. OK, so it could be um, there's a there's a structure that can take us uh, even higher. But as always, I start with the low bar and then move up uh, higher from there. So, yeah, we're looking up in this space up here and above the um, five thousand we've got, uh, well, we've got group one. So group one is, I'll just put in there as 53 roughly. So group one is, is one, two, and three. In this case, it's 1,000, 2,000, and 3,000. And then we go to 5,000 at that point, okay? Um, so normally what I find is that the move up here can trade above the number three, the 53 in this case, uh, and then fold back down. So we'll see how this goes, but just remember that what I've got here as wave of three and four here is the conservative uh, count for this. I mean, wave five here is a little bit short compared to wave three and wave one. So it can climb, potentially continue to climb here. So we need to be mindful um, of that, but uh, yeah, I just like to start at the bottom and then work up from that point. So uh, that's that. We'll just go to the one hour chart and get a cleaner cut on that. So we can look at that as wave one here and on the hourly chart, wave two at this point. Going up into wave three. Four. So after these five waves here that I'm just counting roughly here, after these five waves, if we go any higher than that, then I will adjust it. Or if I see that there's a good reason to adjust it if for some particular reason. Um, then I will, um, you know, look to adjust it. Uh, but uh, that's where we are at the moment. So you could go long here. Um, I won't do it as an official trade or anything, but you'll need to leave the stop under wave two at this point. And then I do suggest taking the money off, um, well, a decent chunk of it off at 53 at that point. Okay, so that's Bitcoin. Like I said, not a lot of change, just there's, you know, 50, number five, is going to see sellers, it's going to see buyers, um, it's going to see volatility, um, and we can see that, you know, this is not really extending out. Um, you know, a lot of, yeah, well, different people do different things, so I don't, I want, to, don't want to classify anything at this point, but we can expect, we this, this number here, the 50, is not support yet, is it? 
So what we normally look for is the classic trading levels pattern where we're looking for the first high above the level. That's what we're looking for. And then this folding down at that point. Okay, we're going to have a look at some uh, other coins at the moment. So in no particular order and don't mean anything. Some I have positions in and... I will be my my trading in in these coins is these um these blockchain coins um I don't think that I will be selling them for quite some time I've I, I was going to get sort of in and out and all that sort of stuff but I can't be bothered paying the tax and doing all of that sort of thing and yeah I mean I just see that we're in the beginning of a bullish industry bullish market that's definitely nothing's going to stop it um and it's going forward so i can't really see any point in really taking any profit or working the trends i may do in some cases so i've got a position in xrp down at 27 cents or 25 cents or something or rather down here um, i would like to uh, add to it um, i've got five thousand dollars to spend today so i might get up another small position in here but i also want to add to i want to buy into other positions as well um, next one here is is dot polka dot so I have a position down here for that just a 5,000 and um, just on the wave count here it's still just going to the upside and once again we're at trading level three here so in this case $30 so um, we're looking at a classic trading levels pattern so we can look at it something like this here so once again the arrival the reaction the first high above the level then the ABC pattern and then we go further up at that point okay so that's pretty clear cut so the arrival the reaction we're going up for the first high we're about here somewhere and we'll continue to move up and then it will fold over uh, and then this will be our trade set up over here for that so we're looking to get it we'll you know we'll be back we want to get it over here in this case this next uh one here is uh the codes here ada here and we've been counting it to the upside i don't have a position in this one but if you wanted to get a position in this one uh this is wave four it's pulled back roughly to this wave four so that's sort of okay it's made a nice move to the upside which is probably wave one and it can also pull back to the 50 60 percent retracement level here as well but i would imagine this time around that the um well the 61.8 percent is right on the on the 80 which is also a major level as well so let's just pop that in there that's the support now you could probably just go in and buy at that point there as well um, rather than waiting I'm just looking I always I'm I, I try to be conservative uh, uh, I know it's boring, but um, uh, you could, pro you know, if you're going to put a bet onto this market, or it depends if you're trading it or you're building in a position and you just want a better price. I mean, if you want a better price, well, then you can just buy, you know, right on the 80 here, uh, and then perhaps to look add above here as well. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, that's uh, ADA, and then we've got AA, Ava, Ava rather, Ava two A's together but uh, it's very it's an old I mean two A's together is an old Danish like the old Danish language uh, which they don't use much anymore they just normally put a little dot on the top uh, I can't put that there because that's the B wave so this is still giving if that's the B wave that's one two three four five yeah so we'll get one more low in here for this sorry about that and then we'll move up into this space here. Now I've got, um, we can go long on the 500 here, trading level five. Uh, that would be the safe trade because normally we would just, you know, start off on the top here, then bring it down to this one and then we can bring it down to this one. So we can wait for a classic trading level pattern sitting in here. Or if we see an impulse wave up through here and then a pullback, then I'll bring that down here further so we can build in a position here and then add to the position over there. Or you could even split your bet up in that regard as well. Uh, the next one is uh, uh, this one here, AVAX. 
So it does look like if this low gets broken here, because I'd have to look at this, I'd have to look at that as a third wave and a fourth wave and a fifth wave here. So um, we'd need to be a little bit careful here. If this low here is broken, then uh, it doesn't really look like five waves down here. I'll have to do a bit more work on this, but uh, it looks like three waves so far. So an A and a B and one and two here and one, two, three, four, five, the third wave, fourth wave and fifth wave. So yeah, it shouldn't really get broken here. And if we could count five waves up here, one and two and three and four and five, but that's a little bit dodgy. Um, look, what I suggest here to go along on is on the medium level here of 40. Okay, so you'd need that to go along on this. I, I don't have a I, I, a lot of full. I don't know how this company sits within the network opportunity, or, or um, you know, and what the community is like uh, as such uh, in uh, for, for for this stock. Um, for this, I suppose it is a stock, really, isn't it? I mean, it's a company, uh, so. Um, yeah. Anyway, we'll keep a bit of an eye on it. Uh, GRT, which we've been uh, keeping an eye on as well. Um, it's possible to look at this as um, five waves down here from the top as well as one and two and three and probably wave four to here, then one and two and three and four and five. So it does look a bit impulsive up here. So the long trade here would be uh, taking out any of these highs through, through that space there. Um, it could be another move to the downside on this. Let me just check. Well, let's just get this out and have a bit of a look. Well, that's the 38.2% retracement level in here. So we wouldn't want to see it going much further than this to the downside. But buying new highs would be the go um, for this. That looks like down, um, I can see five waves in here. So that could finish just here very shortly and, and push up. But yeah, taking that high out here would be the long trade there. And uh, this one's a bit of a new one. And it does, it does payments, not payments, it does ID on the blockchain. So normally the, the you know, your your ID would be a number, um, but this is bringing in, this company here will bring in um, ID uh, and, and gather more information uh, as such. So it will work with um, with Polkadot. Uh, and yeah, it will, I mean, I think it's, I, th I think that it's um, a bit of a leader in its field uh, in uh, ID recognition, um, which is very valuable for, for other sorts of payments and uh, and you know logging in and all these sorts of things, so um, it's got space to grow. So anyway, it's it's uh, hasn't been going long. Um, it's had a bit of a hype, um, and we're at this level here, thirteen, which we can use as a major level. And uh, yeah, so uh, I'll probably put in a small amount on on this one, and uh, see how that uh, plays out. We don't have five waves up just yet, really. We have this this wave, which we can't, which is impulsive, which we could call wave one and two here. And we could look at this as wave three here and four and five, building to the upside, um, or we can look at it as an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave, and it can fail at this point. So really, we do need it sitting on that. You know, this is all about the thirteen thousand, the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level in five waves, and then looking for some sort of ABC pattern here, perhaps as a wave four, uh, and then moving up from that point. So technically at this stage, we should have that sitting up um, up at that point. And then we would look for um, we'd look for the second high to come into play and so on. So we can look for uh, an, an, a, an A wave, uh, the A wave, the B wave, uh, and the C wave coming into play here um, before heading off uh, higher in that regard. But yeah, it's got quite a good story to it. So let's just uh, see how that plays out. Um, I 
think that's about it. So I'll just have a look at um, uh, this is uh, Ethereum here, and I don't know if I've updated this on my. I normally use this on another on my other charting program, um, but um, I think that's okay here. I just I'd need to double check that with my other charting program, but. Um, the good news here is that we're at um, 1800, so eight's a profit taking number, so we've seen the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level in five waves, and now we're looking at the ABC correction, so normally we would be looking at, for the pattern, we'd be looking for that high, then down to that high, and then we can bring it down to this high here. Um, this looks impulsive. This looks like an ABC pattern here, and uh, then moving up from that uh, up from that point there. So, okay. So I'll just make him notes on the side. I better get a bit of this too. Um, yeah. So that's quite a nice setup actually. Um, and that will take us up to that will take us up to here that, to the major level which is the number 2 here so 1500 is the medium level clone that and 1650 is the medium level as well I know that they're very close to each other it's a bit bit awkward but um, you'd need to watch the um, you'd need to watch the trading levels video course on trading lounge uh, there's a free version on the on the front page and there's one in the members area there as well with a bit more detail but if you want to understand where the major levels go the medium levels and the minor levels go um, then that that video on on trading lounge called trading levels um, video course that will be uh, helpful it doesn't have the sub levels or the micro levels on it but I just give you the outside frame and yeah I think it's worth understanding it just brings your consciousness a bit closer to understanding price a little bit better uh, alrighty um, I'll leave it at that so the takeaway for all of this is that we're still bullish um, there's there's possible tops in Get it moving into play for um, for Bitcoin. This particular market here will have um, well, wave one, wave two, wave three, four, and five coming up into uh, in, into that space. Have I got? I can pop that there, that there. Wave three normally hits on the level, and then wave four will be the so wave three is the arrival, wave four is the reaction, and then wave five up here. Okay, well, there you go. Elliot Wave and the Crystal Ball. Alrighty, uh, thanks for tuning in. Much appreciated. Cheers.